is the Mobile Home Diva, and in today's video, I'm going to be touring this fantastic uh, modular home. This is model number 2306. It is a modular home. It's out here at Congaree Homes in Columbia, South Carolina, and this is model, doesn't come with the car, that's mine. This is model number 306. And again, it's made by Schultz Home. It is a modular home and I can't wait to show it to you. Let's go in and take a look. It's 2,100 square feet and it has 1,300 square feet of unfinished space. Now, these steps don't come with the house, but this built-in porch does. So can you think of how you can extend the porch from here like this is? really nice I always love when there's a porch built in but anyway just my personal thing let's go in and hi family just a quick disclaimer I do not work for the manufacturer or dealer of this home I record these videos because I love touring these homes and I share my personal opinion of the homes that I view if you have any questions about finding this home pricing or specification all the information I have will be in the description box below. Now let's get back to the video. Take a look. Ooh, pretty. Okay, I'm gonna spin around and let you see. You have got this beautiful foyer here. So nice. Got your entry table there. Love the color of the hardwood. It's those wide planks. And this foyer is separate. So this is like before somebody just doesn't walk into your home, right? You've got this foyer area. They can take off shoes. Uh, you can find out what they need before you give them entry. Super, super nice. So this is a foyer. You've got in the foyer you've got a coat closet okay so there's a coat closet and then kind of cat a corner from the front door because when a person walks in they see this wall but kind of cat a corner from the front door is your living room you got a ceiling fan you've got stonework in the fireplace carpet in in this living room this is oversized furniture so you've got lots and lots of space for your Furniture, you've got space over here next to the stairway. You've got two windows on either side of the fireplace, letting in all of the light in addition to the other light lighting in the room. Really nice. So this is your living room. Again, there is a ceiling fan in here. I'll go over and take a closer look at the fireplace. You have the stonework. That's real, real uh, stones, you guys. It's a combination of stone. This is a real beam, like the beam in your ceilings that makes the mantle. Love it. And you've got a real fireplace. Love it. Love it. All right, again, you got two windows on either side. And depending on how, I would probably put the TV on that wall, but you've got, you could turn your couches to the side and not to the back of the fireplace. And we can watch TV on that wall. Or if you prefer, you can put your TV over here or you don't have to put a TV in this room. It's completely up to you. Now, next to the living room, you got space for your dining room table in front of your sliding glass doors. This is a nice size table, you guys. So this is how much space you got in this room. Look how big that table is. You can put your nice patio back there. Really nice. You got all of the space in your dining room area. Perfect. And then 
On the other side is your kitchen. Now look at that big island. You've got a huge island. You can put three or four bar stools at that island. You've got lots of space for um, beverage station, uh, uh, I don't know, buffet, whatever you want over here. Lots of storage. That same stonework is over the stove. They've got the ceramic top stove in here. Love the cabinetry. Huge window over the sink. Like this house is beautiful. It's perfect. It doesn't even look to me like a mobile or a module, which this is a module home. But this is really nice. I love the little hidden shelving for your cookbooks. So pretty. Really nice. For every cabinet, there's a shelf. Y'all know I love these sinks. And then you've got all of this shelving and cabinetry and even open space there. You can put a microwave in there or not. It's up to you, some appliances, whatever you like. You got pendant lighting over the island. Really pretty. From the kitchen, if you're entertaining, you can talk to guests in the dining room. You can see what's going on in the living room. Love, love, love it. Now, off the kitchen is your utility room. Your washer and dryer go over there. Next to your back door, you've also got all of this pantry space over here. So pretty. I'm pretty sure this is like hot water. Oh no, this is a coat closet. Okay, okay. Okay, so you got a coat closet at the back door. I thought it would be either the AC or the uh, hot water heater, but it's not. Very nice. So we'll walk back through. Off of, now let me show you where we are. So this is your living room, right? And instead of walking in the dining room down this hallway are additional bedrooms. So the first room is guest bedroom number one. Okay. You've got a standard closet. So this is guest bedroom number one. All right, that's guest bedroom number one. Next to guest bedroom number one is the guest bath. So you got lots of cabinet, upper and lower cabinets. And that's two, I don't know if you can tell, but you've got two cabinet up there and then you got cabinets and shelving down here okay guest bathroom and then guest bedroom number two and looks like a walk-in closet yep you got a walk-in closet over here so very nice guest bedroom number two so this is a three bedroom two bath with an optional fourth all right let's go upstairs before we go in the master I think this is the unfinished space but you got stairs here And then you've got unfinished space up here. So you're purchasing an option for an additional 1,300 feet. Now this is gonna come with the house, whether you finish it or not, right? So this could be added space, but if you want to turn this into a four or a five 
or put a game room, office, craft room, etc. up here. You have all of this space to do just that. So nice. Look at all this unfinished space, you guys. And it's got the vaulted ceiling up here. Like you could do a lot with upstairs. This will be my office space over here. My husband would have his man cave over here. Super nice, super, super nice. All you gotta do is finish it out. Really nice. So this could potentially be 3,400 square foot home. You're gonna die when you see the price. Okay. Let's go back downstairs and we'll take a look at the master. Really nice. Okay. Master. And then I'll tell you the price. Okay. Off of the front door is the master. Really nice master. Huge master. Super nice. It's got space for your king size bed. You can put a sitting area or depending on how big your furniture is, you have lots of space for that. Really, really nice. You got three windows in your master. Really nice. Off the master, and that's a sliding door. It's just kind of off center right now. This is your master closet. I mean, master bath. You have one sink over here with cabinets and shelving. Really pretty. Love the rounded edges. Your huge soaker tub is in the middle. Two big windows that open above the tub. Your other sink is on this side. Really pretty. Really pretty. Really, really pretty. Beautiful! Got another window there. In your toilet room, there's not a door. It's in an archway. You've got all of that shelving. Look at there. All of that shelving in here. Lots of storage in there. You've got a walk-in shower right here. This door opens. You've got seating in there. Beautiful. Rain shower, shower head in addition to your regular shower head. So nice. And then through this archway, is the master closet. Now you got all the space for shoes or purses or whatever you like. You've got a big mirror right there. All of the storage. All of this is storage, you guys. You don't need a dresser, look at there. And then you got all of this closet space. I would live in here. My husband would have to use another closet. Look at this big mirror. Super pretty, super, 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 super pretty. Yes, love it. This is model number 306. It's a three bedroom, two bath with a four bedroom option. It starts at 2,100 square feet. It has 1,300 square feet of upstairs unfinished space. And it's $255,000 as is, okay? Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of this modular home. You guys have a great day.